Do do do. Hello. I almost never make remake a video, but I remade this one because more information came to light a day later on uh, what's going on. How are you doing this fine evening? I don't know how fine it is. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, by the way, in case you didn't know, uh, the WHO, and I have no respect for this entity, um, has declared a global emergency on the, uh, the monkeypox. Global emergency. Yeah? Isn't that interesting? Remember when I told you last year that this would happen? I said it'll declare another pandemic round about uh, election time, which is uh, by my watch right here. <laughs> it's just a couple months away. Uh, well, actually two and a half, what, three months away. Yeah, it's, it's ramping up, yeah. Mon yeah, WHO declared a global emergency. Yeah, yeah. Here's two other things, and this is important on, um, it's kind of fascinating fact, actually, by the way, on uh, what's going on. I'd like to g uh, gloss over these uh, kind of quickly. This is a ATV store here in town. I was checking out campers and whatnot. Thought that I'm buying a camper, and all the ATVs are marked sold. And I'm an information sponge, and I was asking, and I confirmed it with the other guy. Why are the, why are these all sold? And the reason is is that this being Kentucky, people are moving out of the uh, you know the radical states like California, uh, Illinois, New York, New Jersey. They're buying land in Kentucky. And let me tell you what, I can confirm to you firsthand, lots of people are buying land in Kentucky. And they need ATVs, four-wheelers, also called quads, so they're all sold. As soon as they, they can't, they can't get, them, get enough in, as soon as they hit the floor, they're sold or they're pre-sold even before they hit the floor. Another thing, um, the guy I bought my land off of, he's a, a cow farmer, and uh, most of his cows are uh, black Angus and... Uh, you know, meat is really high right now. I asked them how much a cow would cost. I say, you know, me and a buddy were thinking about splitting a cow, buy a cow, and he said, uh, like a large heifer would be nine hundred dollars, roughly. It depends on the cow. Okay, that's fine. Um, you need to. I'm going to use the word gently. Process the cow. In other words, to get the slabs of meat that you, you know, you cook and eat. <laughs> I'm going to use the word process instead of the S L word. And it turns out the places that do that now that are FDA certified, they're uh, over a year out. And so now there's this business of people that know how to, you know, slice and dice, you know, uh, the cow for processing. You know, unlicensed, and who cares about that? People have been processing unlicensed meat for, you know, <laughs> no one cared. There was no licensing, you know, a short few decades ago. But uh, they're a year out. So in other words, if... You and Joe Blow wanted to buy a cow and, uh, you know, split it up. Like you need to take it somewhere to be processed. They're over a year out, which basically means there's something going down on this with the meat stuff. There really, really is. Um, here's something else funny on what's going on before I get to the main section of this. Is that the very entities um, uh, that are involved with this... <coughs> Schwab, <coughs> Gates, WEF, <coughs> the entities that are involved with this great reset. And by the way, and I mean this truly, if you don't know or don't think that there's a, a reset going on right now, you've either had your head in the sand or you are that unintelligent. And I really, really mean that unjokingly. Now, remember when this started a few years ago? Talking about the great reset. Oh, there's no reset going on. Now, I don't really know of anybody that doesn't agree with that. The people that are making this go on, I'm just going to, no one's mentioned this before, nobody. And this is true. The very people these people don't like, they don't like uh, what we'll use the word redneck. Yeah, like Kentucky guy, he you know, lives up in the woods, overhauls, and, you know, uh, um, mayonnaise sandwiches, my life. Anyway, these pseudo-intellectuals that are actually causing the reset to go on, the very people that they, they can't stand, they generally don't like people, of course. They want to reduce the world population. All this. But the people that can't stand, just think about this for a second, are the very people that will survive this. The people that know how to cook and clean and hunt 
They know all the survival skills that all the city folk have really no clue about. The people that will survive it best, and definitely survive it, are the very people that these people initiating the Great Reset can't stand. They can't stand those sort of people. I get along great with those people, by the way. Yeah, I really do. I get along fine with them. I, I get along fine with anybody, really, except for genuinely evil people. Um, don't you find that interesting? The people these people can't stand, the reset people. They can't stand, you know, like your eastern Kentucky guy that knows how to hunt and fish and, you know, uh, how to dress out a deer and uh, knows how to plant food and all that stuff and rides around on his ATV in the woods. Those are the people that will make it through. <laughs> the oh, Basically the only people that will. Except for like the super elites and their uh, underground bunkers. So there'll be two people left on Earth. The extremely evil super elites with their underground bunkers stockpiled with uh, rice aroni and mac and cheese or whatever the hell else they eat. And the people they, 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 they can't stand the most. <laughs> the, super, the super elite evils and uh, the goobers in the, the, uh, the deep hills of Kentucky and Tennessee. Those are the only, be the only two groups of people left. <laughs> That's uh, not funny, but it's, uh, it's an interesting observation. One of the fundamental problems is that uh, people have become so out of touch. Everybody's living in a nutshell, sniffing in their own flatulence. We have a serious issue with the enemy within. You have these people that really, really are out of touch with reality that are trying to initiate this uh, reset uh, nonsense. They really are, but the whole world is uh, suffering from that. <coughs> um, something that people don't realize, and I've thought a lot about this, and I, I, I mean, I've thought a lot about it, is that you could not uh, plan this more perfectly. You could not plan this more perfectly. People think <clears throat> with superficial awareness that we have something going on over here, food crisis, you know, climate crisis over here, and you know, the, you know, the, uh, the monkey pox and all the other garbage over here. You know, like these are different things, but all these things are working collectively to bring people to their knees. They really, really are. People say, well, this is Joe Blow over here. We got this issue over here, and we got Sam over here that's never met Joe Blow. But all of these things that are bringing people to their knees, all of these people that don't know each other, they really do ultimately, I'm talking about the evil people that are causing this reset to occur, they are all in the same church, if you will, and they're all worshiping the same golden calf. They are working towards one purpose and one purpose only, collectively, yet innocently. And this is exactly how it would work, because if everybody were aware instantly, like, there is the enemy coming down the road, um, a semblance would occur really quickly, total resistance would be met. How do you get an enormous amount of people to uh, come to their knees, even though they're really, really weak already, and they're very spineless? And that's the issue with all of you people, and I don't mean you specifically, but people in general these days, is that most of humanity is spineless jellyfish and they refuse to use two letters and those two letters make up the word no no i will not let you wreck my life and the, the life of my family and my kids no i will not there's way 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 too many people out there there's a spineless jellyfish and that makes it not the reset people's fault which it you know is their fault but the other end of the fault is that nobody is saying no. And that's a serious issue. But these people are working collectively. But to get everybody to their knees, it has to be not something that is blatantly... One entity is causing this. And there are only actually a few entities that are causing this to happen. We could say who those are, and you know exactly who they are. A few people and a few different uh, large entities, some of which might be in the UN, that are causing this to happen. But all of these separate little things are working collectively to bring everybody to their knees. And that is why it is being allowed to happen. People not only are spineless jellyfish, unfortunately, but they mostly are, but nobody can recognize one singular entity to say no to. It's like, well, we have... Uh, you know, we have all the diseases and nonsense over here, 
and over here we have the food problem over here, and over here we have the forced uh, fertilizer, no more uh, chemical fertilizers over here. It's like there's not one thing. So everybody just sees, well, these are all coincidences. They're not coincidences, and they're happening in unison. They're all worshiping the same golden calf, and they're all sitting in the same church, and their prayer that they're working so hard on, these people that don't know each other, even though a lot of them do know each other, is to bring you to your knees, and they're working, working collectively on that. Here's something else that happened. Old uh, Captain uh, Dementia, I'll let you guess who that is. Uh, he was outside. Sorry, I have an allergy problem right now. Uh, he said, Code Red! Code Red he said, this is an emergency, and I will, these are his exact words, by the way. This is an emergency, and I will look at it that way. I will use his exact words. I will use my executive powers to combat the climate crisis in the absence of congressional action. In other words, he's going to uh, uh, operate uh, unilaterally. He doesn't care what Congress or the House does. He's going to, of course, he's a puppet. I know that. I know this is just a guy that has no idea what's going on. He doesn't even know what day it is. Um, it's not about him or the fact that he has no idea what's going on. I'm really not blaming him at all. He's just a puppet. He's a sock puppet. I don't care whether you like the guy or don't like the guy. I'm not interested in politics. He's a sock puppet. He's a sock puppet for the regime that's trying to initiate this uh, global reset. He's going to go around every facet of democracy and issue executive orders. The code red, his exact words, an emergency. The fact that these entities are trying to uh, disarm uh, law-abiding citizens and something that happened today, it will be challenged in the Supreme Court to uh, the king of California, the guy with like two pounds of hair gel in his hair, and issued, issued a thing where it is backdoor uh, disarmament, what it is. It is basically no different than if you got into a car wreck with somebody and they were driving a Ford, that you go after Ford. You know, you can sue Ford if uh, the guy, the drunk driver that hits you was driving a Ford. It's ridiculous. So this is uh, backdoor uh, disarmament of the citizens. And he was urging other uh, governors to enact the same legislation. It's completely unconstitutional, but they passed it in California. California is not really America. I know a lot of people judge the United States off of California. Let me tell you flat out, California, even though it's a state, and it's a beautiful state, physically in its nature and whatnot, even though it's got tons of wildfires every year. It's always burning, which of course tells you a lot. It's essentially hell. It's not really the United States. It's not representative at all of the United States, California. I can't tell you how many people have fled California permanently. There's a huge sucking sound of the vacuum of people that are fleeing California as fast as their butts can carry them. Anyway, he enacted this legislation's backdoor methodology to... Uh, to uh, declaw citizens. What they're trying to do is they're trying to bankrupt the entities that build these tools uh, for uh, self-defense of citizens, and he's calling on other uh, people, other governors, excuse me, to enact the same unconstitutional uh, legislation. All of this is designed to bring everybody to their knees. If you can't see that, then you're completely blind. You've had your head in the sand. The fact that you and so many of your other peop uh, people around you refuse to say no. Say, no, I will not submit. No, I will not. No. No is the answer. No. Absolutely not. Will not, shall not, cannot, no way. No. Last I checked, this was still a democracy, at least in this country, even though superficially the case. Just way too many spineless jellyfish out there. Here's a couple examples. Oh, by the way, I think it was in, was it North Carolina or was it West Virginia? Sorry if I get this wrong. The, the tiny little town is called Keeley or Cayley. Uh, they elected this uh, totally woke mayor that hates cops. I don't know why the, the tiny little town elected her. But she's such a repre uh, reprehensible entity that every cop in town quit. So there's no cops. They yeah, quit instantly, the same day. They all quit. So the town, I can't remember, it's Keeley or Kaylee. Just type in all town cops quit. You do a Google search, it'll tell you which town. I can't remember, it's West Virginia or North Carolina. They all quit. 
Let's know there's no cops anymore. I love it when people ask me, like, why do you need that? You're living in fear. Why do you have that tool? Pew, 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 pew. Why do you have that tool? Do you know what the average 911 response time is? Do you have any clue? And that's not living in fear. That is leading a righteous life, knowing the way the world works. When you, people say stuff like that to you, they usually say, well, you're living in fear. I don't need that. Oh, you, so you wear a seatbelt when you drive? Yeah, I do. What, you living in fear? You plan on getting in an accident? No. Why are you wearing a seatbelt? You must be planning to get into an accident. Well, you know, stuff happens. Exactly. Stuff happens. Why do you have a fire extinguisher? Are you worried about a fire? Well, you know, I might have a fire. It could happen. Exactly. Why do you have health insurance? Why do you have life insurance? Why do you have homeowner's insurance? <laughs> Why do you refrigerate your food? Are you worried about poisoning? Well, you know, it's just a good idea. You know, keep your food cold because it is spoiled. And you know, you get, te you know, food poisoning. It's like, exactly. You do it because it is prudent, wise, and logical. These people don't think. They have the mind like a pachinko machine. They, they can't think two centimeters out in front of the tip of their nose. So, uh, I hear Argentina is about to collapse the same way Sri Lanka has already gone into bankruptcy and collapsed. And it's for the exact same reasons. Here's a fact, and it's undeniable. Every farmer on earth has struggled just to barely break even every year. And the banishment of uh, chemical, uh, synthetic and chemical fertilizers and replacement for uh, uh, natural fertilizers means these people absolutely have not got a single chance in hell, not a snowflake chance in hell, of even getting close to breaking even, which means that they give up. Why plant the crops if you can't get even, a, say, depending on the crop? It's like, now I can't use chemical fertilizer, so now I'm only going to get one quarter uh, yield this year. One quarter of a yield won't pay for the diesel it takes to feed the tractor. So they just don't plant crops. It's not worth it. No farmer with two brain cells is going to plant a crop. If they know for a fact that they're going to get one third the yield, one quarter the yield, this is planned. Why do you think Sri Lanka collapsed? Why do you think Argentina is about to collapse? For the same reason. It is not my opinion, a feeling, a belief that there is a food crisis going on, but it is absolutely going on. Make appropriate actions for you, yourself, and your family, and your loved ones. Yeah, in Buffalo, when that horrific incident happened up in Buffalo, New York, a woman called 911 about the tragedy that was going on. And the 911 operator hung up on her. Look up that. Type in Buffalo. 911 operator hung up on her. Uvalde. All the videos have been released now of Uvalde. The horrors of Uvalde. The cops waited for exactly over 77 minutes. There's a famous little video clip of one cop. When the, you can see the cops going down the hallway, and when the, the bang started going off, the cops literally turned around and ran the other direction, like the cowards that they are. One cop kept going for hand sanitizer. There's a video of that. 77 minutes. The children in there kept calling 911. Who cares? They're already there. The cops were already there. Your fate lies in your own hands. You know, I'm not anti-cop. I'm pro-responsibility. Your fate lies in your own hands. So is your own defense. So many people are relying on your stupidity and your spinelessness so that they can bring you to your knees and they can do whatever they want to with you. And if you think that's conspiratorial, then you have had your head buried in the sand and or you're not that bright. That's just flat out the case. Here's how it's going, and I remember this from a movie. It was taken off of an account. I forget which movie it is. I don't have a, a blade in front of me. It's because a full frontal... Uh, assaults upon humanity would be recognized and it would be repelled. This is exactly the way it's going and it's going perfectly, you know, for them anyway. As a uh, World War II uh, movie, one, one guy meets the enemy on the stairs, the enemy pulls uh, a blade and it, it goes right underneath the ribs of the other guy. And this is based on a true story, supposedly. And people, we see these, you know, violent things in, in movies and whatnot. 
But when the enemy digs it in underneath the guy's ribs and he digs it in deeper and deeper, he goes, uh, the enemy with the blade goes, shh, 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 shh. I'm going to use this doll over here. Yeah, as a... Uh, Digging it into the ribs, he goes, shh, 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 starts petting the guy's head, and he covers up his mouth, and he's trying to say, shh, 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 it's okay, shh, 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 he keeps digging the, digging the blade, and shh, 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 it's okay. That's exactly the way it's going right now. It feels exactly like that uh, little bit from the movie, which is a first-hand account, um, or anecdotal account, anyway, from a World War II encounter between two enemies meeting on the stairs. He digs it in, and... Uh, We've all seen these violent things in movies and whatnot, and you know, the horrific whatnot. And this is this is even more insidious. The word is insidious, by the way. Insidious can be way more horrific and way more evil. And you're just like, shh, it's okay. Shh, shh, shh. Let me dig it in a little deeper. Shh, 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 shh. Covers up the mouth. Shh, 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 shh. It reminds me exactly what's going on right now. Perfectly insidious, perfectly planned, multi-pronged. We have fertilizer over here. We have... Uh, Pandemics, <laughs> pandemics over here, um, food crisis over here, farming crisis over here, fuel crisis over here, fear mongering over here on multi-pronged attack, everything working like a bunch of entities worshiping the same golden calf in the same church designed to do one thing, that's to bring you and me to our knees. Disagree all you want. Wrong, I am not. 100% not wrong. Anyway, let me know what you think. I read every comment. I'd like to know what you think. Have a lovely day.